Hello friends, welcome to the course on complete CPP. So here we are with the, our first lesson program structure. The best way to learn a programming language is all, always first starting with the hello world program. So here we are with a simple hello world program. These first two slashes indicate the comment in a program and the text after it is a comment. It is always inserted by a programmer and it has no effect on the behavior of the program and its output. Programmers use them to include short explanations or observations uh, concerning the code or the program. You can write these comments anywhere in the program before it or after any uh, semicolon etc. It gives a complete overview of the code to the one's person view view viewing it. There are two types of comments in a program and those two, those two types are single line comment and multi line comment. Single line comment uses forward two slashes and multi line comment uses a single forward slash with a star following it and ends with a single star and a forward slash. Thus, here in the program, we use a single line comment. The next line of code is hash include IO stream. Hash includes IO streams are the directives read known as the preprocessor directives. These are the special lines interpreted before the compilation of the program by the preprocessor. And it instructs the preprocessor to include these IO stream header file inside the program uh, inside the program that allows the program to perform standard input and output operations in the program these are the output operations if you want to perform this inside the program then you need to include this io stream header file inside your program there are many different header files uh, like io manip math stdio stdli lib etc The next line of code is the int main line. This is the function declaration line. Int indicates the written data type of the function named as main. The main function here is the special function within a program and it is always called when a program is run. The execution of all C++ programs starts with this main function regardless of where wherever the function is located within the program. These two round parentheses includes any parameters inside the function but there are no parameters here in this program passed so we have left it blank. These two curly braces indicate the start and end of the function and all the statements inside these two braces are the function body that will be executed when this function is called. The next line of code is we see std two colons c out and then a hello world statement ended with a semicolon. Stan there are three parts in this statement. The first part is this, second is this insertion operation, the third one is the hello world, hello world words and a semicolon. std c out means standard character output it is a device then insertion operation and a hello world whatever you want to print on the screen is written within the two quotes so this hello world is given by the insertion operation to the standard output device and then this statement is printed on the screen now, what if you don't want to include a std c out in your program? Then you need to include this special statement known as using namespace std, and then write only c out statement c out key keyword in your program. Uh, using namespace std, uh, c out is a part of standard library. And all the elements in standard C++ library 
uh, are declared within uh, what is called a namespace the standard namespace this declaration uh, mainly allows the elements uh, in the std namespace to be accessed in an unqualified manner in this manner uh, without the standard prefix we see here so here we make unqualified uses of c out so whenever you need to write only c out you need to include this using namespace std ending with a semicolon here you can see the difference between these two programs using std c out and without using std c out using namespace std and without using namespace std over here so this was all about the program structure hope you like my lecture thank you so much